Say hello to our first carrier of the Staff of Terror, Shigodito. The first person to carry the artifact that just landed in this world. And uh, all I'm going to do is just follow the artifact around and we're just going to see what happens to it. We're going to see whose hands it falls into and uh, where it goes. But it's pretty early on into the world. As you can see, it is just a ton of small little villages. But, uh, and this is just the beginning of the world. And we don't know yet how this little, I guess not little staff, this staff of terror will influence the world to come. So, let's find out. Now, Shagitito, they, uh, they haven't done much with it yet. I mean, there's not too much to do. They just lived a simple life. And, you know, that's beautiful. They've, they've, you know, gotten berries. They've, you know, chopped trees. And they've, they're one of the founders of this small little village. They aren't even king. Capidogo has a, uh, yeah, he's a little greedy. He, he, he made himself king, it looks like. But uh, as she do, do gets into her old age, I'm, uh, I'm scared to, I'm scared to see her die, all right? I don't want to see her die. It's still a while to go. She's only 45. Not that old. Maybe midlife. A little later. I don't know. But, uh, there's still time to see where it goes. Maybe she'll get some use out of it in her later years. It finally happened. Chikadito passed away in her old age peacefully. She lived a life. 60, 60 years old. And uh, it does look like Kabadogu, the greedy <laughs> king, as uh, is the next to bear the staff's power. Listen, I'm not sure about him. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it straight, bro. He's a little greedy. He's a little slow. I, I hope he might use it. I mean, it's literally called evil, so he might use it for evil. But I guess we'll we'll see where it goes. I'm afraid for what he might do with it. I mean, I'm just gonna spectate him anyway, so I don't need to favorite him. I guess we'll just find out who it goes to. So next in line, second in line, is Cappadogo. Let's get some perspective of the history going on right now. So, you know, everyone else has been doing their own thing while we've been focused down here in the in the southern river, coming from the oasis. But it looks like uh, Remadun, a country born in the oasis, has uh, actually expanded and been taking control of other things. But beyond that, um, they're bordering right on our little town. Right little town of Ushurk, of the realm of Udo. And even though our king has kept the peace for now, uh, he, you know, he, I was surprised. I honestly thought, you know, he'd be maybe a little bit more evil. But I guess you can be greedy and nice, you know. That's not necessarily, they don't necessarily mean you can't be nice. But um, he's kept the peace for now. But he's, yeah, again, he's getting old in his age as well. And oh, looks like there was rebellion. Speak of it. Oh, I just saw them move out. I was scared for a second. But he's getting on in age as well, and uh, it, all it takes is one, his son maybe, or the next in line. All of a sudden, you know, maybe they, maybe they have bigger sights for the world. Maybe they want to make a bigger impact. And all it takes is them to use that staff to meet that measure. And it is official. Cabadogu is finally dead, dying at the ripe age of 70, I believe, around there at least. Question is, who will be his heir and who will take the throne? It looks like Usfuli is going to take the throne. You know, he's already later on in his years, so it might not last too long, but maybe he can get some stuff done. It looks like it's going to pass down a line of kings. Of course, the kings claiming it for themselves. I mean, they're kings, I guess. That makes sense. But it's fairly... Uh, you know, we'll just keep... I'll keep going down. I'll see if anything interesting happens. Usafuli is dead. And in his stead, Efu, he is king. But he did not get the staff. Yeah, I guess he really likes his wooden spear. Uh, he's a little bit... <laughs> he's he's a, he's an interesting guy. And and they gave it to a Kuvad. Uh, he looks to be a military man. Just, you know, an average military man. So, you know, they're not like, I guess they're not like classist. Maybe <laughs> They're just giving it to protect the, 
whoever can protect. But as you can see, uh, a lot has been going on in the world, but our little area here has been relatively unaffected. It looks like we're starting to have a tradition of neutrality uh, and just using this artifact to keep the peace. Because people don't want to attack someone when they have a giant flaming staff that shoots fire, you know? Turns out that's pretty effective in keeping the peace. It's just all a matter of well, how how will this how will it get passed down? It's 117 years old, and there's plenty more history to go. And of course, as soon as I said that, it looks like uh, Ufufi decided not to keep the tradition of peace, and uh, he immediately declared war on Ukomersk. I don't know if they'll be able to. I don't know if they're gonna use the staff. It doesn't look like they're gonna need to. It looks like they're gonna take it over without it. You know, making, because if you just, I guess if you just throw it out willy-nilly, you're going to, you know, potentially burn down an entire city. So I guess it's important that they don't just use it. They're using it wisely, I guess. And they were, but they were the ones who did, who did declare war. They didn't get declared war on, which is just interesting to note. Oh, it looks like another. I'm just trying to see if we'll use it to defend. Oh, there it is. Our first usage. Just to burn this army to, into a crisp. He's lighting half of his own troops on fire. Maybe they need to practice a bit more. You know, they haven't really used for a hundred years. It hasn't actually been used. This is the first time in a hundred years. Holy crap. Oh, they are now a two city uh, kingdom now. Interesting. Holy crap. Instantly. Wait, this town. The realm of Doe is actually almost instantly wiped out. A surprise attack from who? The Remadune, right? Yeah, the Remadune. They let a surprise attack. They're a major, they're a major um, force with the city of Oasis in this paradise amongst the desert, and they launched a surprise attack. I didn't even, ex I didn't even see them gather. And our man has been promoted to general, but I don't know if he can get back in time to even help. His city might be gone. Well, they did hold off. Wait, is he? Wait, no. He ch he's changed sides. Wait. He betrayed his fellow countrymen. He betrayed them. And now I lost him. My, where is he? Hold on. Uh. <laughs> well, it looks like he probably agreed to change sides because, um, I'm gonna have to favorite them now. Looks like he probably good tries just, like, but he's able to keep the weapon. But that means uh, the founding, the founders who found the artifact, the realm of Adoe, are now gone. And uh, the city of the Oasis, I mean, that's the capital. Remadun has, uh, they now ha have hold of the artifact. And after he goes, maybe it'll go to the king. It will. Re I actually don't know. It's interesting to see a big empire just rip it away from them like that. They weren't even able to hold them back. It's just how fast they attacked. That's the end of an era. I guess on to a new one. Wait, hold on a minute. The, so he changed sides. Kuva had changed sides. But then a rebellion has happened. And he is now a general of the rebellion. Yeah, he's now a general of the rebellion. Rebellion against Ramadun. The city, oh, th there's a huge battle over here. What is happening over here? It's like... There's arrows flying back and forth in this little this little entrance, and they're actually going straight in to evade the city of Oasis. Our man, their general, is actually not letting the attack, he's just letting other people do it. Okay, you have, you know, you have a weapon of mass terror, I feel like. Maybe you can use it to end. I guess he just likes to sit there and do nothing. I don't, battle, the battle of the past, I guess you can call this? Is this rebellion? Has, I mean, it's identified a choke point right here, and they're able to hold them off. I don't know where all the army is. Looks like our guy, Kuvat, is not gonna add to the rebellion. He just was like, yeah, you guys can rebellion, I don't care. I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna sit here. Yeah, okay, not gonna lie, dude, this Kuvat guy's a little scummy. He, all he has done is just kept the staff to himself. He used it like once to, after, like, to invade somewhere else, and then he immediately changed sides He's just after power. Let's be honest here. He's just after the artifact. That's all he cares about. He doesn't care, you know, who is under. He just wants the artifact. Ah, <sighs> I 
I guess you'll get people like this who carry it. It's a shame, really. <laughs> Yo, what? So Ramadun, they did take back that city, but they are still trying to take Ushurk. But our man Kufad, I guess not our man. He's, he's doing whatever. I don't even know what he's doing at this point. He's He actually is defending. But the king himself from Ramadun came down here. And it's, I mean, he came down. I don't know why he came down here, but Kufad slayed him with the staff. So he's now a king slayer. I don't know why the king came down here but he did and now their kingdom split up here you know i guess i don't know what i expected to happen like when your king dies i guess but yeah he's he's using to defend i don't know if he's doing more damage than good to his own people but uh he's definitely defending with it that's for sure <laughs> yeah he's holding his own i mean all we've seen right now is no large empire it's just usually small small empires or not small not even empires small kingdoms taking a hold of it and uh just using it to protect themselves no no you know no ideas of great conquering yet but it, it does corrupt power does corrupt after many years kuvad has finally passed away from old age kuvad the king slayer a man of with an interesting story he was there for the original kingdom but then actually betrayed it for a position of a general in the Ramadun army, which then he immediately betrayed them as well, founding his own, being a part of the founding of another, a new kingdom, the kingdom of Uvadush, using it to protect this city against Ramadun, trying to take it back and using it to take over a, uh, a, another local kingdom nearby, expanding this kingdom's reach to three kings. The question is, who will will be in control of it next it's actually going to be with such a large population it's going to be kind of hard uh the oh it looks like oh Afidi. i'm surprised it's not going to the kings but it's nice to see that they're giving it to some of the army to protect themselves and i mean i guess that's wise to do so he can actually lead things but he's not a general yet he's just they gave it to some random grunt i guess so he could prove himself i don't know I don't even know, but I guess it's now going to be the story of a graffiti and what he does with it. Okay, so I have turned on random disasters. Um, so, but I also have a little mod here and it says more disasters, so it adds a couple of other things. And uh, apparently there's a mush one. So it says, oh no, some villagers are sick of mush spores. I have, no one knows how they got it. I have no clue where they are and I'm actually terrified. Because the mush is insane. It will take over the world. I... But it takes a, quite a while to do that. So, it's going to be a while. And it might... This this artifact might even pass through some hands before it even happens. But I'm just scared. Or it just I guess it just... Also, it, we could get extremely lucky and just, nothing happens. It's either the entire world dies or nothing happens, I guess. So, uh... It's going to be interesting. But uh, our man here, Awafidi, I think that's his name, right? Yeah, Awafidi. He's uh, he's led a nice life. He's uh, he's mainly here in defense, just using this uh, artifact for defense purposes. Defending the town, warding off invaders. Uh, he's never invaded, so just living a nice life back here. And Awafidi has now just passed, passed, passed from old age as well. Uh, it's going to be a journey to find this thing. Unless the king has it. I should just double check and make sure if the king has it or not. Because that's the most obvious. Nope. Alright, it is going to be a journey. Look for the military first. Um. There it is. Ivodush. Oh, he's paranoid, fat, but wise. Oh, he's already old too. That's just going to change hands again probably soon. Alright, let's have a nice little report of the outside world. Um. So... Uh, actually, another wild mage with... He's going to have a Staff of Terror since he's an evil mage. Um, I have no idea where he's at, but he could give another artifact to someone else. Um, it will probably be less powerful because that is the most powerful staff of them. But it is still another staff. And it's... But, um, yeah, so the mush is... Um, it's it's uh, It's been localized at this little place right here it has not escaped the river borders yet okay it just escaped the river borders oh no 
that is not good. Okay. Well, this is this maybe it's year 200. I I hope the world can survive a little bit longer. Cuz oh no. As as long as they die and they're over there, that's fine. They just can't spread it to anyone who will go back to the city. That's they are swimming across. Why I don't know. Okay. Well, you know, that's not that's not where we are, we're paying attention to anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? Ushurk was taken over by Ramadun. Wait, did Uvadush just change sides? He's actually, yeah, he changed sides to Ramadun. Wow. Betraying with the artifact. Betraying this the country he grew up in, the Holy Hichas. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Is he, where is he going now? Is he running? He's not even fighting. He can't even look his fellow men in the eye. Oh, he just killed one. It's disgusting. We have a battle. And he's going to annihilate that entire army. Entire army of his fellow brethren. I mean, he fought with them. He cried with them. And now he's killing them. I don't even know. And he died of old age. Wow. Well, the artifact is officially out of the Holy Charles's hands, and it is now in the kingdom of Ramadun. Question is, who will have it? This is a large empire, so it's going to take me a while to uh, find out who has it. First, take the king. Nope. All right, let, let me just... Well, I found it. It actually didn't go far at all. I, I thought maybe it would go somewhere else, but it looks like it's localized, so that's good to know. Um, and a man inhabiting the town of Ushurk named... Oopsie he see seems to have found it and taken it for himself. So it is bonded to him for life now. And I guess that's just another switch hands. It's in the hands of the Ramadun Empire now. Whoa. Um I did not expect that. He has willingly given up the artifact. It looks like another artifact has been forged. Um by one of a, a blacksmith in this area. Maybe he learned it, learned studying that weapon, studying the staff, but he actually gave it up and they, I guess they gave him that artifact to make up for it. Um, so the question is, where is it now? I mean, there's no way he just gave it up and no one else is gonna grab it, right? Like that's just not a thing, I assume. Well, time to do some more searching. Well, that guy's now dead, and I have no clue where it's at. Um, I don't know if he left it in storage at his house, or he hid it somewhere. But I actually, I've not seen anyone else wield it so far. And I have looked around this entire kingdom. Um. Huh. I'm gonna, I guess I'll have to see if it pops back up again. Oh, this is just awkward. I can't believe I lost it. I mean, he put it up, and then it's just gone? I mean, it's not going to disappear. It's, it might still be in his house? I don't know. So, I still cannot find it. Um, I guess I'm going to keep going in case someone else somehow gets it. Maybe they go to his house and pick it up. Maybe they find it. It may just be lost to time. That is... I did not think it in like that, but um, there was a zombie virus outbreak, so I don't even know what to say about that. There's just random. I don't know if they got rid of it, but it, it was located over here. But that's all I know. I haven't really seen too much, and the mush has progressed quite far. The mush is continuing in its expansion. It's already taken up the entire northern, at least up here, and they're wandering about the desert. We have. It's chasing that chicken. This town of Tadron is just falling right now. Actually, it's getting members of Ramadun involved. And it might actually start to affect them. This city's halfway destroyed. This this kingdom over here, the realm of Ugal, is managing to defend off this river border. If they can keep them from crossing, it is a huge deal. And they can maybe they can maybe hold them off. But it's 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 hard. They, they may have a chance. 
Uh, there was a revolt in Rimadun. Oh, it looks like this place has revolted. I just... Holy crap, I don't even... Oh, and there was a madness outbreak. Okay, then. The mush are just slowly increasing other territory. They do have to get to this pass somehow, and I'm not sure they can. They may be stuck there for now, but they might make another breakthrough. Like, all it takes is one. That's, that's what I'm saying. All it takes is one breakthrough. And the mush can potentially just destroy your entire world. Uh, oh no. Yeah, okay. Speaking of breakthrough, uh, they have found their way down here to the city of Af Ibbi? In the middle of a war, so none of the troops are there to stop them. Oh no. And they all just made- that entire army is just infected with mush spores now. They're all mush. Now it's just an army of mush in the city. Well, they're trying to fight a war. And that also gives them access. They can actually walk over here to the city of Yptura, which is actually next to the city of Oasis. The city of Oasis might fall to the mush. Here is another large army. If they, they can all potentially become mush, this city's gone. This kingdom is actually the realm of Ugel is holding out. No, no, never mind. Uh, it looks like some mush has finally just gotten across, and that means a lot of the army is probably infected and is slowly going to take over. That's, yeah, especially when they're all in melee like that. That's, oh, and a meteor just fell. Holy crap. What is going on? Where did that meteor fall at? Oh, right here. Didn't it only hit some? It be, is actually just completely destroyed, entirely just consumed with the mush. Where is the artifact at? And an earthquake. Holy crap. Okay. I... I guess this was where the earthquake was? Yeah, a lot of that city's destroyed. There are so many people- Okay, so many people just got ejected from their houses. Where is the artifact? There's no way it's just gone. And the mush has made its way over here as well. O okay. It looks like... This- Another kid is about to fall to the mush. And only- And these places holding out actually can't even make it. Where is the staff? Okay, I finally found it. I have no idea how it ended up over here. Into Might, Might's hands. I actually don't. I guess they're actually a part of the same kingdom now. They might have gotten it from the storage, but they're losing all their cities to mush right now. And the city of Oasis is almost completely destroyed by the mush and is going to fall. The city of Oasis is going to collapse. And all that's going to be left are these outs- Oh, this kingdom's falling as well to the mush. There's a s small chance they can hold against the mush with, with, with that staff. There it is. He, oh, he's burning everyone. Okay, all of his citizens are being burnt to death. Wait, he's dying? He's fighting- He's been infected with the mush? But he has 26 kills already. He is annihilating that entire army of mush. He may be infected, but he's definitely doing his best. To oh. He's died. The Staff of Terror is now in the mush's hands. The mush... Oh, and the mush has regen, doesn't it? Oh, it does. That is terrifying. I think humanity might be lost. But the, even with the Staff of Terror, they couldn't hold out against the mush. They just couldn't. This entire place is just desolate now. This just turned into a, another mush story. They're now falling to the mush. The archers are trying their best. The mush are just too strong. 300 health. It's just too much. Where? Oh. Yeah, he still has a staff. He's probably going to hold the staff for... I don't know, the rest of time? I mean, there's not going to be any human survivors. There's nowhere to survive to. Sit. Is all of humanity is dead. All destroyed by the mush.
Holy crap. I don't even, it's just the silence. The world is gone. Um, this was not how I envisioned it would go, but, um, this is the, it's the end of the world. I don't know if maybe this, the artifact is cursed or what even happened, but, uh, the entire world is gone. There may be, I'm going to save this because there may be, uh, we may be able to do something in the future with it. Maybe an ongoing story. We'll see. I like this map a lot. But I guess that's it for the video. So uh, thank you for watching. Much love and have a good even more than that wherever you are. So see you next time. Peace.